These MPs on the Privileges Committee who threw the book at Boris Johnson for lying to Parliament have now done a new report into Boris Johnson's allies who they say carried out a campaign of interference into the work they were doing. Let me take you through what they said and what it all means. They start off with a reason. They say what needs to be addressed is the campaign waged outside Parliament by some members of the House of Commons and the House of Lords, and they go on to name them, to undermine the committee. They talk about the using newspapers, radio and social media, and they're particularly concerned that these are very experienced colleagues. Let's show you some of the comments that they were so concerned about. Here we've got a list of MPs, including Nadine Dorries, Jacob Rees-Mogg, Priti Patel, people of former cabinet ministers, calling uh, the inquiry into Boris Johnson a kangaroo court and a witch hunt. They say future generations will look back in astonishment. Serious questions, one MP says, need to be asked about the manner in this, which this investigation was conducted. In all, they name seven MPs and three peers. Here's Jacob Rees-Mogg talking about kangaroo courts. We, in fact, caught up with Jacob Rees-Mogg uh, this morning, and this is what he told us. I'm actually going to church, because it's the feast of St Peter and St Paul and the Holy Day of Obligation, and I would encourage you all to do the same, and then I shall be at the test match, which I'm looking forward to. Thank you so much. So not doing anything in Parliament. And we also caught up with Michael Fabricant uh, MP, who has tweeted uh, this this morning. He is one of those named. And he says, I stand by my statement. Some of the members of the Privileges Committee treated their witness, Boris Johnson, with contempt by gestures and other actions. Now, going back uh, to the report and um, what the Privileges Committee found, they talk in particular about um, the impact this was going to have on the MPs on the committee. And they say um, that they, they're worried that there was going to be, they were trying to drive um, Conservative MPs out of the committee. They say pressure was applied particularly to Conservative members with the clear intention to drive them out and frustrate the work of the House. And they also talked about how this pressure had a serious personal impact on individual members and raised significant security concerns for them as they concluded uh, their work. So what happens other than fierce criticism of the behaviour of some of these allies? Well, they've asked the government to make sure that the House, that all MPs, note with approval this report. So they're asking the government to have a vote and a debate on this report. And we've already heard that that is going to be happening a week on Monday, on the 10th of July. So will Rishi Sunak and other senior members of Cabinet turn up for it? And they say it will be for the House to consider what further action here is to be taken, if any, in respect of this report. So they're saying that MPs can, for example, trigger individual investigations into some of these MPs and peers, and then they might face a sanction. But all this just drags out Partygate and is a bit of a headache for the Prime Minister as he heads into some really significant by-elections.